panelists, what have you tried that didn't work, and how do you move forward? Um, tried a lot of things that didn't work. <laughs> I'm not sure if they... I, I probably have to go back to the... Um, we, we've taken on higher volumes of collating, um, uh, uh, saddle stitching, and not the type of saddle stitching you do on a laser printer or a copier, but in, in the numbers of thirty to 60,000. And, and right now we're really struggling with the fact that the booklet maker we have can't handle those type of volumes. So we need to take a look at what we're doing there and, and possibly upgrade that piece of equipment. But the volumes were there, it was going out of shop, and, and we found that we underestimated the amount of work we put on the current collator. We, we tried some uh, fulfillment, uh, one-off pieces for the uh, uh, Department of Tourism, where a customer would call in, you know, and they get a packet of stuff that relates specifically to whatever their interests are. And, and that type of, of handwork was just not working for us. We, we couldn't provide the level of service at the speed that the customer wanted. Uh, so we eventually got out of that service. As, as I tried to grow with a print shop, I made very much the same mistake about how we acquired equipment. So our UV coder is way too small. We had no, we did not anticipate well the volume that we were going to generate off of that UV coder. So, and we also did the same thing with our Duplo um, slitter cutter increaser. We bought one that was too small. Uh, we brought business cards back in house after having outsourced that for so many years. And the volume that we're doing on business cards alone, we've burned that Duplo machine up too. So we, which is good, you know, I can go back to corporate now and, and, and showcase the Band-Aids, <laughs> the duct tape, and uh, that's on our slate for 2015 is to upgrade those two pieces as well. Big, big I, I highly encourage you to always go on, on some of those pieces one step higher than what you think you're going to need because once you get it, and you start demonstrating what your capabilities are, your clients are quickly gonna latch on to that technology. They, they want to be on the cutting edge of trends, and my engineers, they don't even look up. Uh, they are, they're always looking at people's shoes. They're so introverted. I, I can't keep them out of my shop now. They, they just love that. I think they look at themselves in the UV coder. It, it's great. It's better than popcorn. Yeah, popcorn too.